Hey guys, this is Pastor Bess coming to you who are teens, kids, and anyone who feels young at heart. Um, I got a bucket of warm water here and I got a scripture passage I want to read to y'all. It's one of my favorites in times like these when the world seems like it's a little uh, turning turtle, you know, topsy-turvy. Um, it's from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 through 3. Listen to this. Do not fear. This is God talking to God's people. That's you. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. So when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. The word of God for the people of God. And everybody says, thanks be to God. So, in times like this, I want to encourage y'all to practice prayer, practice reading your Bible, and practice generosity. Try to find ways that give people, things that give people hope. Just do little nice things for people. Um, when we do these things, when we pr practice our Christianity, especially in times like this, when the whole world is, is worried, and a little bit scared, they don't quite know what to do, um, you know, in adult, adults, we, we try to do this all the time, right? I've got an old jar here with a, with a paper towel in it. But sometimes um, we forget to just dive in and trust God. And we get a little bit fearful and we waver and then, whoops. Oh, no. Ew. And then our fears can sometimes weigh us down. If we forget to practice our spiritual disciplines, reading your Bible, praying, doing good deeds whenever you get an opportunity, however small they are, they still matter, um, we get a little soggy and, and, and overwhelmed by the world if we forget our spiritual disciplines. Um, and God can still bring us back from that. But it's better if we think like a child. We think children are small, so we underestimate them. We think teens are young, and so we, we tend not to listen to them. But, um, but their kind of faith is what we need right now, this faith that is fearless. <sighs> so let's put this in and see what happens. Oh my goodness, it went all the way under. What do you think? Well, it's not falling out. Let's see what happens here. All right. Oh, look, guys. It's fluffy. It's dry. That's kind of what our spiritual disciplines help keep us. They help keep us dry. We don't get as weighed down. And we're able to take that protective, you know, prayer and, and spirit out with us. Kind of like this, you know. It surrounds us, so even when we walk into the fire, we go through the rivers, <laughs> we feel like things are hard and scary. <laughs> Just remember, God goes with you. God is always with you.